So guys, this is all about Coco. And with me here, I have Mr. Eric. Eric. Yeah. <laughs> Great. <And> the notorious. <laughs> notorious. Nila. <laughs> the tall guy. Okay. So right now, guys, again, it's your girl, Boss Baby. And with me here, I have uh, Mr. Eric. So we're going right now to show you, you know, Coco, you know, what they use to make chocolate. So, and I'm sure a lot of you want to really see that. So it's still your girl, Boss Baby Talk. Be sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell for your girl, okay? Because that does go a long way for me. I love you. Let's get right in the video. <laughs> yeah, we are now in the cocoa farm. So these are the cocoa trees. Oh. And always the flower is on the trunk of the tree. So these are the flowers. Oh. And from the flowering stage, then it bears fruit. Smaller, yeah. Let's look at the smaller ones. <laughs> yeah. From the flowering stage, then it bears fruit. Like oh, this one. That's cocoa. That's cocoa. That's the tree. Hi. Yeah. And <laughs> from this stage, mm -hmm. then it keeps on increasing. Oh. Become big like it. But finally, you have it in this form, big. Okay. But when the color. So is that right? It, no, that's not yet ripe. Okay. But when the color changes from green to yellow, oh, so this then, color. The, then it's ready for harvest. It's ripe. Oh. Yeah. Um, what is this? <laughs> I will show you that one. Oh, okay. I would like to give you a very brief history about cocoa in Ghana. Oh, good. In the year 1798, mm -hmm. there was a man named Tete Kwachi. Okay. He went to Fernando Po, the present day Guinea Bissau. Mm -hmm. He went there on a missionary tour. So when he returned to Ghana, he brought just a seed from that place. So originally, cocoa is not from Ghana. Just a seed. Wow. Originally, cocoa is not from Ghana. Cocoa is believed to have been originated from the amazing forest of South America. Okay. So when the man brought the seed, he planted it at Mount Point Kuyapim in the eastern part of Ghana. Mm -hmm. Over time, it flourished. And the farmers around that area expressed interest. Okay. They also started planting the bean. So within a twinkle of an eye, Almost all the forest area in Ghana, people started planting the cocoa. So I quite remember from the year 1957 to the year 1980, Ghana was a leading producer of cocoa in the whole world. But three years later, that was 1980, there was a bushfire which burned almost all Ghanaian cocoa and La Côte d'Ivoire took over. So as I'm speaking, La Côte d'Ivoire is leading the world market. Oh. It will take Ghana about three to four years to catch up. So we are, we are trying our best. We are replanting the bean. And I believe mm. by four years time, Ghana will still be at the top of the ladder. Hopefully. Yeah. yeah. Cocoa is the backbone for Ghanaian economy. Oh. It, yeah, it gives us foreign exchange. That's good. And we get chocolate, African cocoa. That's the typical Ghanaian chocolate. Oh. Do you want to try? <laughs> king's bite. Oh, we want to try. That's a king's bite. <laughs> yeah. Call it. It's hard. Break it. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Our cocoa is hard. And we also have the cocoa butter for the skin. Mm. Yeah. After shower, you use that one for the skin. It made the skin very smooth. Mm. Very, very nice. You can even smell. Mm. Yeah. We also have the cocoa powder. Okay. This for Milo tea. Oh, for Milo? Yeah. Tea That's it? Yeah. Wow. But right now, this one does not contain milk or sugar. Oh, okay. It is sugar free, milk free. Oh. If you want to prevent now hypertension. It's going to be bitter. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's not sweet, it's bitter. Mm -hmm. But bitter though it is, it's very effective for the, uh, for the body. For the body. If you, are, uh, if you want to prevent hypertension or diabetes, it's better to take it this one. This one. But okay. this time, you just take a warm water, mm -hmm. add a teaspoon of this one. About for you a glass, to put sugar. no, no sugar, no milk. Mm -hmm. If you keep on using that for about a month or more, you 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 you, you have energy. Oh, good. That will help you to. Uh, do you sell this? Do you have? This yes, business? we do. Okay. Yeah, but if you want now to take this one, you have the one that is already made, like. Y yes, of course. And the cream. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you want you to take this, to yeah. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. That's what I must. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would like to show you the the fresh one. And that is the seed. What That's the seed. the seed. Yeah. That's the fresh seed. Wow. It's very, very sweet if you suck. 
Oh, I can take it like yeah. this? Yeah, let, let me let me try first. Oh, it's yeah. okay. Can I give you the spoon? Oh, you're okay? I'm okay. Okay. Yeah. The seed. I would like to show you how so we... Now this is the seed. That, that's the seed. If you plant so this one... Plant. Yeah, yeah, if you plant this one, about a week time, it will germinate. Wow. Yeah. Wow, this is good. Yeah. So now, uh, as a farmer, when you see that the colors become yellow, you harvest all of them by using the machet. And then you spread either plantain or banana leaf on the ground. Mm -hmm. And then you put the seed on the leaves. Mm -hmm. You cover it for about a week. Wow. During that period, fermentation will take place. All the sweet part will rot, remaining only the seed. Okay. And then you use the rays of the sun to dry the fermented seed. Oh. And when you use that, that one, it becomes brown. So that, that it has is the. To be like this. That's the, uh, Not the, like this. No, no, no. That's the dry one. That's what you can plant. Yeah. Well, no. You cannot plant this. That's we, what you can use for chocolate. Oh, but you can plant this. Yeah. <laughs> is it good? You can plant it anyway. Yeah. But the no. point is, in the forest, only on the forest area. It's good. Because it needs a lot of water. Oh. And, and, and the soil should be fertile. No, we can, you know, water it every day. It's not about you watering it. It's the soil. Oh. That's true. But at your courtyard, you can try hard. and plant some there. Oh. Yeah. Now, wow. apart from the monetary aspect of cocoa, the cocoa leaf mm -hmm. and then the root is a medicine for the local people. Oh. For the leaves, it serves as a tonic for a breastfeeding woman. Okay. If a woman gives birth to a child from day one to one month, we use the fresh leaf to prepare a soup oh. and to help the woman produce nice milk for the inborn baby. It's very, very nutritious. Oh, they cook it or? Yeah, they cook it. I know one that they used to use to wrap the, you know, breast parts. No, that. You know, for some days. You know some women, when you have baby, your milk doesn't come right away. Of course, of course. It takes time. Yeah. So they have some kind of leaf, I forgot the name, that you can use to cover. Like overnight, it's going to start. Of course. That one is there, but this one, this time, you, you, you cook it. Oh, okay. Take it. Oh. And it helps you to produce a lot of milk. It's very, very good. Now, back to the root. That is good. The root serves two purposes. Number one, if you're having a cough, you're coughing, mm -hmm. you take the root and then you clean it nicely. Okay. You chew it alongside with honey. Three days, the cough will vanish. Mm -hmm. Very, very, very effective to go away. The next one is for men. Those who are very you weak. You cook it. No, this time it's raw. You just chew it alongside with honey and then uh, drink, uh, take in the liquid. Like that. You swallow it, just, just chew it ah. alongside. As you are chewing it, then you add the honey. Okay. And then you swallow what it. You, are <laughs> you, you clean it. Of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But even at that, the rainfall, everything, everything doesn't have any side effects. No. No, 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 no. So you can just use it like this with honey. Yes. Wow. But the point is. Together. You chew, you together. chew together and that's it. That's it. No cooking, nothing. No, 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 no. And wow. you wonder, it will go away. Really I have been using it, it works. But the only problem that we are having right now is cocoa has become money. So no farmer will allow you to take so cut it. Yeah, yeah, that's the only problem. Other oh, than that, that's the root. That's the root. Okay. That's the cocoa root. Yeah, wow. you, have, you have it here. Oh. That's the root. Yeah. And it's a compound okay. The second purpose is for men, it's those who are very weak in bed. Oh. If you are weak in bed as a man, you need the root plus tiger nut attachment. So what? When you add tiger nut to this one and then you chew it, as I have already said, and you swallow it, uh -huh. you become strong indeed as a man. Hey. No, it's not aphrodisia. Wow. That is natural. Wow. You see, natural things are better. Sometimes I, sometime I wonder, we, we, we always copy the Western world. But we have all this in here. Exactly. Uh, in fact, sometimes uh, I become sad, especially the youth. When they watch uh, the television, they always, oh, they're very bad, but the natural things are there. We need to protect that one. Now, back to this one. After taking off the seed, it remains in the pot. Mm -hmm. This is not thrown away. 
You ask me about this one, you dry it. When you dry, the color becomes that, that, that one. And then you burn the whole thing. When you burn the whole thing, it, it becomes an ash. You put the ash on the basin. Then add water to it for about three days. Three days later, you take that solution, put that solution on fire for 45 minutes. When it reaches the boiling point, then you add palm oil to manufacture what we call the black soup. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. So black soup consists of cocoa pod and then palm oil. Black soup. Black soup. So you can put black soup on top of this? No. no. The that question is... That is what they use to prepare the black soup. This? Yes. yes. The pod. The black soup you see is cocoa pod. Yes. Plus... Uh -huh. uh, wow. Yeah. So after drying it, after drying it, you burn it, so you, you burn it, burn it. Ah. So and get the ash. Yeah, and then you, you put the ash, solution on fire. You put it in the basin and oh. add water. Yeah, leave it for three days. Yeah, That's and then it. you pick it and bring it to the fire. Boil it when it's in the boiling stage. You add palm oil. That is all. And that's all. That is all. No chemical is added. Soup coming from? Let me show you. <laughs> you understand what I mean? What's to make it for me? And exactly. Yeah. This is natural. That's it. Wow. Wow. It makes the skin very smooth. It moisturizes the skin. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. No additive. No artificial. Unfortunately, we're not going there. So fortunate we're not going there. Yes. So now, I'm inviting questions. Can we have some of it? Or oh, do you sell this, the black soap? We have them. It's in the shop. We have them at the office. To sell. Yeah. No chemical, they haven't mixed no, 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 into no, no, it. No, 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 no. So do you sell the pot out? What? For, for the pot, we do not. Okay. Yeah. You see, uh... For people to try out to do it by themselves, if it's actually going to come to that, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is done by the old uh, women. Mm. They do the black soup. You see, they, they, they go through the cocoa mm. farm, and pick... Okay. All uh, very good, and then burn it. Yes. Please, I have another one here. You call this one ekikimi. Say it after me. Ekikimi. Yeah, very good. Ekikimi. Ekikimi. Ekikimi is an a key word. The English word is energizer. Energizer. Very good. And it consists of cocoa root, ginger. No, no, not for men. This time, not for men. No, no, it's not for men. It consists of uh, cocoa root, ginger, coconut, and honey. Mm -hmm. These are the four components. Oh. Ginger, cocoa root, uh, coconut, and then honey. honey. Yeah. During the COVID, that was our savior. Because by that time, there were no medicine. But we were having that local medicine. It helped us a lot. Kikimi. Yeah, kikimi. Let me try first. Oh. Why you chew? You chew? You chew and throw it. No. Oh. Swallow. Try it. Just try it. Small. Just small. You, you, you even love it. Oh, it's coconut, ginger. Okay. This is coconut. <laughs> it's too sweet now. You think it's too sweet? If you chew all the fiber and everything, ginger, yeah, yeah. that's when you will see there. There's one. Yeah. This is the cocoa product. Yeah. yeah, we call it royal. And we also have the cocoa butter for the skin. So is it made from here? Yeah, made. Or made from another place? No, 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 made from uh, Ghana. Is it made from here? From this farm? You are the one doing it? Or some other people are doing it? In, in, fa in, fa in fact, we are not doing it here. The only thing that we are doing here is the kikimi. Yeah, for this one, it's done in Ghana. Yeah. And we also have uh, the black soup is done in, the, in this community. This one is done in the community, the black soup. No, yeah. the one that is outside? That yeah, is? that is it. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's the package. Oh. oh, okay. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Wow. And we also have them in, we have also the, the liquid one. Oh, the liquid one yeah. for the black soap? Yes. Oh, okay, we'll buy it. Okay. It's still your girl. If you're still here, still watching this video, and you've actually, you know, watched it till now, I say a very big thank you to you. 
and this is all you need to know about Coco Energizer and you know Blasso. even how to make Blasso you know it just nice. summarizes it for us you know in a short form and I love everything I see here actually so if you love it give it a thumbs up you know and subscribe it's your girl Boss Baby Talk, Talk.